my god said I aviation is a big family and and pilots look out for other pilots like we give to each other and we give back here's an interesting question for you Zach so uh, clearly, we've talked about the fact that you're able to inspire so many people across the country and probably the world with what you do. Who inspires you? Neil Armstrong. So welcome to Hangar Talk with Muller this evening. I have an amazing guest. His name is Zach Rising. He is based out of Indiana, um, Indie Executive, as a matter of fact. And I met Zach through Smokehouse Pilots. He joined the club probably about a year ago. And uh, Zach and I had been communicating via direct message. And uh, he had sent me some amazing photos of him uh, flying his drone. He's a part 107 uh, drone pilot. Uh, he's also a student pilot. Uh, he's 22 years old, goes to Ivy uh, Tech there in Indiana and is studying aviation technology. But the thing about Zach is that uh, he is one in which uh, failure is not an option. That is his motto. And uh, when we were on the, on the podcast this evening, I noticed on his, uh, his wrists that he had two, he actually had four bracelets, but two of them I noticed what they said. One was failure is not an option and the other was never quit. Uh, and the last thing that he left us with when I asked him, what is it that uh, you can leave us as far as a tip for anybody that listens to the podcast? His immediate answer was don't give up. I hope you tune into the, uh, the, the episode this evening. Uh, Zach is an inspiration to not only myself, but many. And uh, here we go. I'm really excited to, to uh, chat with you tonight. I really appreciate you coming on uh, Hangar Talk with Muller. Uh, I got to tell you, I, I've been impressed with you online, and I'm so glad that you connected with us on Smokehouse Pilots. How did you find Smokehouse Pilots? Do you recall? Just Facebook. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I mean, like, I, I, I try and connect with pilots all over the board, whether it's in Virginia or, or California. So I don't know. So, yeah. Well, you, you. You've done great at it, and uh, I got to tell you, I've been watching some of your videos that you've had with uh, Premier One Driver, and that's Greg, right? Yeah. Uh, been been watching some of those videos. I've seen you know a lot of the stuff you guys are up to. I'd love to ask you about that here in a little bit, but um, yeah. I uh, I'm really I'm just I'm really really happy to have somebody on the on the podcast that is as passionate as you clearly are uh, around aviation and. So the first question I have for you, Zach, is yep. uh, tell us a little bit about yourself and, and why and how you got in aviation. Well, I'm 22 years old, um, attending Ivy Tech Community College, majoring in aviation technology, um, started flying like training when I was like 12, 12 and a half and um, and uh, I got kind of jazzed about, about being in the aeronautics industry because I wanted to be an astronaut but after I learned that I was too tall to be an astronaut, um, <laughs> I just said, hey, pilots are cool. So. <laughs> That's so, great. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, well, I can, I can tell in the background there, you got the, uh, the NASA a poster there behind you. So uh, yeah. uh, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Being an astronaut would be uh, pretty amazing, huh? Yeah, it would. I mean, I'm still a space geek, but 
<laughs> but I'm also an aviation geek, so, so yeah. That's awesome. So you started flying. You started taking flying lessons around 12 and a tw- to 12 and a half years old. Is that right? Yeah, somewhere in there. That's pretty impressive. I got to tell you, I, I don't know a lot of people that have been able to do that. So tell us how uh, how flight lessons have been going for you and, and how they uh, how, what it is that you're up to and, and just give us your experience there. Well, um, I've had like four or five instructors over since I started till now. And right now, or yeah, right now, I found an instructor that works great with me, knows he's, he's just awesome, and he, he flew a 747. Is that right? Wow. Yeah. That's so, awesome. So, you know, he, he has some hours and stuff. Right, right. That's amazing. Yeah. I, so I got to tell you, I saw on YouTube. Um, can you see me okay? Yeah, yeah. Um, I saw on YouTube where you were flying, I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, you were flying out of Indie Exec. And uh, you had just met up with uh, Premier One Driver, and I saw that you were signing a what looked to be uh, I don't know exactly what that was, maybe a, a piece to an engine. Um, and then you ended up jumping in the airplane and, and going for a lesson. It looked like is that is that uh, is that accurate? No, that was my dad. Oh, okay, that's and- awesome. And what I was signing was, if you go on Instagram, um, type in or search ten tail numbers, and they'll they'll make a custom made um tail number for you, like like of your aircraft. Like November three three whiskey here. <laughs> and That's awesome. With, with your pain job and everything. Is that right? That's cool. That's really yeah. cool. So, um. Yeah. Well, uh, one of one of the things that um I noticed on your friend Greg's airplane, Premier One driver. Uh, do you recall his tail tail number? Yeah, three ninety golf Mike. Yeah, you know what? And when I saw three ninety golf Mike, I thought that's actually great. That's uh, those are my initials. So I need <laughs> something like that. <laughs> um, oh, but so while we're while we're kind of on that topic, give me yeah. a sense of uh, h- how did you meet. Uh, Greg and you you all clearly are doing some fun you've done some fun things together um and it seems like he may or may not be based in India exec uh but what uh, give me a give me your history there that was very interesting yeah um well in high school I was a part of an internship program and I got to choose the place I interned and I obviously chose my airport and <laughs> I I just met him by chance and I and uh and after I graduated or whenever I said you know what? Uh, why don't you throw me in the right seat one of these days? So that's yeah. pretty cool. 
Um, he, um, he just sold his business for a boatload of money. So, so he's, he's kind of in transition to, to, uh, Naples. Oh, okay. Wow. Naples. Interesting. Yeah. Um, it's funny. I, I, so Zach, get this. I actually learned how to fly in Fort Myers, Florida, which is just North of Naples. Um, <laughs> so my, my, my younger brother is actually a full-time firefighter for Naples right now. Um, <clears throat> so Naples, Naples is very Naples fire yeah. Naples airport. Uh, just the Naples, he, he's, he lives right close to the Naples airport. Um, but yeah, he, uh, he, he kind of covers the North Naples area, but, um, but that's awesome. So one of the other things that I know about you, um, yeah. and that, you that you shared with me <coughs> a while back, uh, you actually sent me a picture of this, which was pretty cool. Something that you took um, was from a drone. So you have your part 107 license. Can you tell us about that? Yeah. Um, one of my pilot buddies I met um, helped me start my own business uh, for, for my drone company. And I mean, since uh, the weather isn't great this week or this season, um, it's kind of, you can't really do some drone work when, when you're out in the snow and stuff. So, yeah, I, I got it last year and now I've, I've done some couple of clients, but okay, but yeah. What kind of drone are you flying? Uh, the Mavic Mini. Okay, I actually I think I have that drone. I think it's the same one. Um, I like it a lot. It's got the camera already attached to it. Um, yeah, yeah. So that's a great one. And it's very versatile. It's a very versatile drone. Yeah, you could. Uh, I've had a couple of crashes with it. <laughs> <laughs> flying drones is is so much fun. But what do you like flying better, a drone or an airplane? <laughs> an airplane. <laughs> <laughs> right. So. So. Uh, about the training, so I want to ask you this, and I know you sent this to me yeah. in a text message, and then I want to, yeah. I want to ask you this. Um, one of the things that uh, you know you had sent me in a message in a text yeah. message was, you know, the the fact that you have cerebral palsy, and you know, when I think about that, you are continuing to do what you do. Um, again, as I said, it's so inspirational, and I was curious to know. When you, when you get in the airplane and you uh, and you get yeah. up there and how do you feel? You know you're you're flying along. And yeah. The other thing I was going to ask you, you have you I believe on one of the videos, Greg had mentioned that you hadn't soloed yet. Have you have you gone down that path? Um no because because as you would know um. The FAA has so many rules and regulations for people like me who are on medication and stuff. So what what happened was we we knew what I had to do before. We we went down the uh, the solo road and then just got scared out of our mind by this guy who said, "If you don't pass the this two day test, you gotcha. won't you won't get your medical." 
Oh, really? And that kind of made us slow way down, you know, when just say, let's, let's uh, take a few steps back. Gotcha. Okay. That's what I, that's what I remember Greg saying. It was something around the medical. So I was curious how that went. So I, sh- I appreciate you sharing that. Um, yeah. Yeah. It's, uh, it, there's all kinds of rules and things in the FAA, isn't there? <laughs> Tell me about it. <laughs> so let me ask you this. Um, you, you know, have clearly, uh, inspired a lot of people. One of the things I noticed on a lot of the uh, videos with you yeah. and Premier One Driver, you know, you have you have a lot of fans out there, and and a lot of people say that they inspire you. And I was curious, how does that make you feel? It's got to feel amazing. It does. It does. Um, it it blows me away whenever I read those comments. You know, what night. I'm like, oh, MG or whatever. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it's that's it's so awesome to see. And um, and I just want to let you know, I, I feel like that's just incredible. Um, one of the things I noticed too, and you and I haven't really talked about this. Can you give us yeah. the story behind give us the story behind Blue Seven? <laughs> okay. <laughs> A little backstory. Um, Greg, Premier One driver, is an Air Force guy. And I show up to ride in his jet with my U.S. Blue Angel shirt. <laughs> and uh, and um, he just, when he started give a crap to me or whatever um he just uh came up with that name blue seven <laughs> when we were up at cruising it just suck and um yeah that's funny so so if I recall, you and he, so then you started calling him Thunderbird One, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. great. Because, because I'm a Navy guy, he's a Air Force guy, so. Yep, exactly. So have you seen, have you been to, or, or do you have plans to go to, whether it's Oshkosh or Sun and Fun like that, and maybe see the Blue Angels? Yeah, um, I've got plans this summer for Osh, Oshkosh. Um, so were you going up to Oshkosh? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I will be there. And when we are up there, we're going to have to meet up and uh, hang out for a while. Um, yeah, well, I'll be- uh, I don't know if you've seen this video, but We've started a scholarship. Yep. And I was just going to ask you about that. So there's the Blue uh, Seven Scholarship Fund, right? Yep. Yep. Um, so give us a story behind that. Well, Blue Seven is my nickname. Um, I've done so many things from, from, Meeting Citation Max, meeting Baron Pilot, meeting Greg and and a lot of other people that I I just I wanted to start a fund a fundraiser for able for why would you they flight school for people with disabilities to get their life sport or private pilot's license. Gotcha. So so Able Flight is a flight school. Yes, it is. Um, gotcha. It's a nonprofit organization. 
I don't know. But yeah. Sure. Well, that makes sense. So uh, I noticed that the, <clears throat> I wasn't sure what Able Flight was. Now it makes sense that Able Flight is the flight school and Blue Seven is the scholarship fund. Correct. Got it. And okay. 46,000. And we're hoping to uh, get to $56,000. Gotcha. So you're, so you're really looking out, going out, trying to raise some funds. And what I'll do <clears throat> is definitely put in the show notes, uh, the information on how to get to that scholarship fund, if that's okay. Go. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, I would love... I would love to take a look at that and learn more. I would love to also contribute. And uh, I, you know, aviation is one of those things that's near and dear to my heart. And if we can help others get in there yeah. and, and help them get into the airplane and start taking lessons, whether it is for light sport or private pilot, I am all about that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so how many hours do you have? Uh, myself, I have. I would say I'm pretty close to around 400 hours. Um, I've been flying since I was, uh, it was 2011, 2009 that I got my private pilot's license. No. And then I, yeah. So it's been a little while. So now flying is, is very much just a, a fun hobby thing, which it always has been, but uh, we do the, what they call the hundred dollar hamburger runs, right? <laughs> yeah. <coughs> so what's the coolest airplane you've ever ridden or flown in? Oh man. Um do I simulator that airlines count? Because I <laughs> no. Okay. Actual um aircraft. Um I'm gonna say the 182 in our club that we have. Um, yeah, we 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 almost had an emergency, but but I was quick on my feet and resolved it. That's great. What happened? I come one radio failure. Like we were. 15 miles away from landing and that is the worst place to 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 lose your calm one but i was like come to switch hey we sorry just lost come one blah 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 Oh wow. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's no good. I I have lost I've actually lost an electrical system before, which obviously made us lose comms. And losing an electrical system, which makes you lose, you know, your transponder, your flaps in a in a Cirrus and uh and some other things, it's not fun. So uh job well done on on getting you guys down safely on the ground. That's great. Yeah. And and we were not at home base when that happened. We were somewhere else on a cross country. Gotcha. So we couldn't go back. To right, home. right. We had to go there, stop, you know, and do what thing. So what is the, uh, what's the longest, uh, you know, if you've been you know, doing a lesson, a flight lesson, what's the longest flight or what's the longest route that you have flown somewhere before? Uh, my longest route, um, not flight training, was in the 182 when we had that calm one and failure. Um, that was like two, two, 
somewhere around 200 nautical miles. And, um, and, um, flight training, I think we've done mostly Indiana airports. We haven't really ventured out into Illinois or, or Ohio or Kentucky, both places. So. Right. Well, one thing about Indiana is it's nice and flat, right? So you don't have to worry about mountains. <laughs> well, unless you go into Tennessee. That's right. That's right. Absolutely. I just flew down to Tennessee not too long ago, a few weeks ago. So uh, I was down there for a little bit. Oh. Um, well, that's awesome. So one of the things I noticed, Zach, when you were, uh, uh, I noticed on the screen here, do you have a, do you have a bracelet on that? Uh, what I, I noticed you have a few cool bracelets on. Yeah. <clears throat> what do they yeah. say? Prove them wrong is on one and then failure is not an option. And then try and stop me never quit love it that's amazing i the uh the failure is not an option so i noticed that that was on your wrist and what's funny about that i i absolutely love it uh <laughs> is that i have a sticker on my fridge downstairs that actually says failure is not an option uh, no it's way. not a bracelet but it's a sticker no way yeah yeah absolutely so um, it came from, uh, Adrian, my girlfriend, she, uh, she, uh, is able to work on some space things and we were able to get oh. stickers. So, so, uh, are you a space nerd of like, um, like, uh, people in aerospace or are you more of a play nerd? Yeah, good question. I, I feel like I'm more of a plane nerd. I mean, I do love space. Uh, <laughs> where I where I live, it, I don't live too far from the Udvar Hazy National Air and Space Museum. No way. Yeah, so I used to go there all the time and see the you know the shuttle and all the airplanes. And anytime I would have family in town, we would go there. Um, I still probably only live you know thirty minutes from there. Um, <laughs> But I do love the space side. I just don't have a lot of knowledge like I do on this, you know, just the regular uh, aircraft side. Um, yeah. But it's amazing. You know, it's a, it drives so much as to what we do, you know, on, on Earth and how we yeah. learn and what we apply as far as technology. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like GPS and other things. That's right. Exactly. I mean, there's so much that goes into what we do based on what they are able to do in the, uh, in the space, uh, you know, ventures that it affects us pretty drastically. And yeah. Yeah. It's amazing. Like, like um, if we wanted to fly down to the, co the East coast of Florida, we would need to check um if uh, Kennedy was launching any rockets. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, what's funny, Zach, is that a uh, few, was it last year, two years ago, flying down to Sun and Fun, which is in Lakeland, Florida? Yeah. yeah. We ended up doing a low pass over by the NASA space shuttle area. Oh, boy. Yeah, there's a, we, I took a picture, it's online somewhere, but that was pretty neat. But the thing about that is, is they don't let you land, but they can let you come down and do a low approach. And so you don't oh. actually touch the ground. Um, well, that was pretty neat. <clears throat> well, um, one of my pilot friends actually got to touch down there. Really? Wow. Yeah. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. That's that doesn't happen often, right? <clears throat> nope. <laughs> um so what do you uh, what are your <clears throat> what's your what are your goals within aviation? 
hopefully get my private pilot license and I don't know, honestly, after after uh, the private pilot thing. Um, Probably just have fun, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And, and like, uh, this guy in California, um, who, who, who had something go on where he needed to go through some of the same crap that I would have to do for my private. Mm-hmm. He does some, like, inspirational speech and then he said he would want me to be on, you know, one or whatever. So, sure. yeah. So here's an interesting question for you, Zach. So uh, clearly we've talked about the fact that you're able to inspire so many people across the country and probably the world with what you do. Who inspires you? Neil Armstrong. He got his pilot's license before he got his driver's license. And that was my original goal, but but that kind of didn't happen. So, but, but, yeah, I, yeah, New Armstrong is an idol of mine. Love it. Yeah. He is, he was absolutely amazing, you know, and really changed the world for a lot of reasons, right? Yeah. And, um, I did one more thing like him. I I obtained my Eagle Scout Award, which I think like only two or three percent of scouters get there. So Wow. That's amazing. Congratulations. That's super cool. Yeah, and um and um I built a walking trail around the perimeter of our church. And um and um and uh people said that is too big, but I said watch me. <laughs> <laughs> you, I love it. You would just have to I'll send you a pig after we get done here and just because, because that it is so big. I mean When did you do this? Um I did the I obtained my Eagle Scout in like in 2017, I did my Eagle Project in 16, so, so about a year or year and a half of, of planning and all of that stuff. Okay. Okay. Well, that's amazing. I mean, I, you're right. If that's a very small amount of people that actually accomplished that. And uh, that is a well job well done. And um, it's, again, amazing that you're able to, uh, to you know, have somebody say, you know what, that's too big. And you say, yeah, watch me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's great. we've all had those people, one or one, that, <clears throat> that, that tried to slow us down, but, but we know what to do when they don't that's right that's right you, like you said and even it, it says on your uh says on your wrist right failure's not an option there you go exactly. so, um had, do you do uh do you and your family do a lot of traveling do you uh do you have any great spots that you love to go to um well we were just in florida for about a month in December, so Florida is kind of where 
my mom's up brother lives in where where a lot of friends are so so yeah and um up in the northeast so like where you guys are <coughs> or somewhere around there yeah I mean, for sure i mean it's just of oh, Seattle, Seattle, you have to talk about Seattle. Yeah, I've been to Seattle. Seattle's great. <laughs> well, have you toured a Boeing the factory? So that, that is something I have not done. Have you done that? Yep. Wow. <clears throat> Tell us yep. about that. Um... We were on, we were, we got on a golf cart and they took us around on the factory floor next to the 7 Fords and the 7 8. And they just amazed. The crap out of us. <laughs> yeah, I bet I. I've never. I, I've been to Seattle. I've not been to the plant, but I would love to go there. That would be really, really cool. <clears throat> but I think. Of, I mean, I haven't been in like five five years or so. So. Things have changed and all of that stuff, but but um, when you go up there, you'll know once you you're you're in that room. It's bowing all the time. <laughs> yeah no that's that's great i mean i've seen a lot of stuff online and videos i just haven't yet been there and hopefully i'm able to so what i was going to tell you is that yeah. as as things open back up and people can travel even more you're welcome to come over here to the washington dc virginia area and i'll take you over there to the udvar hazy uh, museum no way i mean oh yeah i don't know what our plans are but but for sure, well, yeah, ab absolutely. So, That'd be super cool. So, how far do you live from uh, Dallas? Uh, I live about 20 minutes from Dallas, 22 minutes. So, not too far. Um, I actually just flew in and out of Dallas the other day. Uh, and I've taken the Cirrus over there to Dallas before and have landed. Uh, or actually, you know, just did some uh, touch and goes. But Dallas is a big airport. You know, there's uh, three yep. north and south runways and one east and west runway. Have you ever been on an A380? I have. One time. One, si one single time. <laughs> <laughs> I got very lucky. I didn't know I was going to do it, but uh, it was one time. And I have to tell you, it was uh, super cool. Um, it's amazing that those things can fly, right? Well, well, not as they aren't as nice as the 747, but right, but they are big. And, yeah. What do they say? If it's if it's not Boeing, they aren't they aren't going. <laughs> yep, that is me. <laughs> yeah. No, that's great. Have uh have you been on a, on have you been on a seven four before? No. The biggest bird that I've ever been on has has been a, a triple seven going to Hawaii. So yeah. So as we sort of maybe start wrapping up here, Zach, I, I'm, what I want to do is, um, is have you maybe give us a little bit more on how we can find the blue seven scholarship fund. Um, sure. and, 
and uh, how it is that someone can contribute to that. Okay. Um, there, the GoFundMe link in the show notes, and you can donate through there. Or if you don't like that, you can just um, send a check to Able for White, put it on the memo line, like this money goes to the Blue Seven Scholarship Fund. Great. Great. That's awesome. Well, <clears throat> I appreciate you sharing that with us tonight. Like I said, I am very eager to uh, help there, not only monetarily, but Zach, if there's anything I can do to help in any other way, I'd love to. Um, uh, I love the mission that you have. Well, like I said, I, aviation is a big family and and pilots look out for other pilots. Like, we give to each other and we give back. I, <laughs> I totally, excuse me, I totally agree. Pilots look after other pilots. And I don't know about you, but I feel like our aviation community is super, super tight. You know, the fact <laughs> is, <clears throat> if you think about it, you and I wouldn't have even been talking if it wasn't for aviation, right? So, Zach. Uh, would begin and the, I mean I wouldn't have found smokehouse without you know Facebook finding it for me or whatever. Yeah. Well not only that, but you're a you're a Hoosier as well, just like I am. So uh I I appreciate that. <laughs> so um, so, yeah. so. Um, sometime when you come over, I'll have to take you flying around and I'll show you, I'll show you the area for sure. Um, oh, man. so Zach, before we jump off, I'm going to have to let you know, I'm going to have to get your address and I'm going to send you a smokehouse pilot shirt. Okay. <clears throat> oh man. Sweet. Uh, I'll send you a shirt and I'll send you a hat as well. Um, oh, I really, I really appreciate you being on the podcast with me tonight and, I've been really looking forward to this ever since we were able to connect. I got to tell you, I apologize for last week. I got, I came down with COVID and uh, thank you for being flexible to do this this evening instead. Hey, hey, I get it that, you know, crap happened and we have nothing or whatever to do about it. So, so, yep. you know, whatever. So Zach, if you were to leave leave the audience with one uh, thought and uh, and advice and tip from from Zach Rising, what would that be? Don't give up. Don't give up. I absolutely one hundred percent agree, and that uh, yeah. failure is not an option, right? So uh, yeah. never give up, and uh, keep moving forward and one step in front of the others. Well, Zach, I'm gonna let you go. I really appreciate you doing this this evening, brother. And uh, it's good to meet you on camera finally. And um, I really enjoyed it, man. We appreciate you hanging with us on another episode of Hanger Talk with Mahler. Please show your support for the show by leaving an honest rating and review over on Spotify. Also, stay connected with Gabe by following him on Instagram and Facebook. Thank you and join us next time.